posterior tibial artery. The posterior tibial artery is the larger of the two terminal branches of the popliteal artery because its branches not only supply the posterior compartment but also to the lateral compartment of the leg as well as to the sole of the foot. What about the course and relations? It begins at the lower border of the popliteus between the tibia and fibula and enters the back of the leg by passing deep to the tendinous arch of the soleus. Now in the leg it runs downwards and slightly medially to reach the posteromedial side of the ankle that is midway between the medial malleolus and the medial tubercle of the calcaneum. Now it terminates deep to the flexor retinaculum by dividing into large lateral plantar artery and the small medial plantar artery. Now what about the branches of the posterior tibial artery? The first one is the peroneal artery which is also called as the fibular artery. So the peroneal or the fibular artery is the largest as well as the most important branch of the posterior tibial artery where it arises 2.5 cm distal to the inferior border of the popliteus. Next are the muscular branches. Muscular branches are given off to the muscles of the posterior compartment as well as to the muscles of the lateral compartment of the leg. Next is about nutrient artery to the tibia. So this nutrient artery to the tibia, remember that it is the largest nutrient artery in the body and it enters the nutrient foramen of the tibia below the soleal line. Next is the circumflex fibular artery. The circumflex fibular artery encircles the lateral side of the neck of the fibula. And what about the communicating branch? The communicating branch joins with the similar branch of the peroneal artery that is about 5 cm above the ankle. Next is the medial malleolar branch. The medial malleolar branch passes towards the medial malleolus and the calcaneal branch where it pierces the flexor retinaculum and supplies all the soft tissues of the heel. And the terminal branches, these are nothing but called as medial as well as lateral plantar arteries of the sole and this is what is about the posterior tibial artery.